Hey guys, um, I wanted to make things a little bit easier. I get people asking me questions about cropping these spreads for the senior magazine uh, templates all the time. So I created an action today because I thought, let's just make this easy. <laughs> um, basically what you're going to do is ha you have to be completely finished with um, your, your Photoshop file. And I'm freezing. Oops, I don't want that. Um, you have to be completely finished with your Photoshop file. So everything needs to be done. You need to have your pictures inserted, your colors done. You're happy with the final outcome. Everything's great. You can go ahead and even delete the notes, you know, whatever you got to do. Um, and it just needs to be good. Save your Photoshop file as a layer and save it somewhere so, you know, you, you don't you don't lose it and that you can use it for any kind of updates later. Okay, so there's two actions in here. For let's let's open up. Um, well, hold on one second. I'm gonna open it up here real quick. Products done. Uh, senior magazine. Uh, I'm gonna open up the first page. So the first and last page, obviously, in these files are single pages. They're not spread. So the first action that you'll run is called magazine single crop. And you'll click run, and what it's going to do is just flatten it and crop it for you the way it needs to be, 8.5 by 11. So now you can go file save as. Don't just save because that's your PSD file. Do file save as as a JPEG or a PDF or whatever you need to do. So I'm going to close that one. So the second action that I've created is a split spread. So you're, you're designing your layouts um, for the inside of the magazine as spread in case you have images that go all the way across or something like that. What this is going to do is it's going to um, split the spread into two separate files. And when I run it, it's going to tell you what, you know, what it's going to do. This action will split the spreads for you. Make sure you have completed all of your edits first. Save your original PSD file somewhere as a backup. Delete the notes from the files. Whatever you got to do. This action will flatten the file and then create two new single page documents. But once you run it, look behind that original Photoshop file your PSD file for two separate ones. And those are going to be your single spread, single pages. You'll want to save those as JPEGs and then your original PSD will be still open, but not, um, I have reverted that in the action I've created a revert. So it doesn't, um, save over or flatten or anything. So we're just going to hit continue and it's going to run its magic here and it'll say your two files may be behind, which all the time for me it is. So there's, um, there's spread one or page one and page two, and they're already cropped. They're all eight and a half by 11. Do a file save as JPEG, and that's it. All right, thanks.